I'm in a 2015 Dodge Charger, and I've had this car for about a week now. And the one piece that really lets me down with this car is the infotainment screen. It's this little 5-inch screen stuffed in a dash. Looks like an afterthought almost. Dodge calls it Uconnect. And it really dates this car. It makes the car feel older than it really is. Maybe 5, 10 years older than it actually is. I've done some research. I found that there's an 8.4 inch screen that's available that fits in this dash. Calling the dealership, I wasn't able to get one. I did make some calls to a junkyard. I found one near me. They had an 8.4 inch screen out of a Chrysler 300. They sent it out to me. It was $600. I'm taking a chance here because a lot of information I read said it can't work. It's not going to plug in. It's not going to hook up. If it would hook up, then you have to go to the dealership and pay exorbitant fees on getting it programmed. I'm sticking my neck out. I'm going to give this a try. I'm going to yank out this little 5-inch screen. I'm going to drop in the 8.4. We're going to see if it works. And I got my fingers crossed. This is the new guy. Look how much bigger that is. The back of it is all metal. Looks like a giant heat sink. And you can see where the junkyard, they just, they just cut out the old lines and uh, left the plugs in there. So I watched some tutorials on how to pull the dash apart. All we're doing, frankly, is this bezel piece right here. This needs to come out. It's held on with a bunch of spring clips. Once we get that out, we'll have full access to the Uconnect radio. Four screws should come out. We unplug the wiring, and, uh, and then we got full access to do everything we need to do. So with the bezel off, you can see these clips all the way around. You can see where they're spaced. Uh, looks like a piece of trim fell off for the air vent. And it looks like the air vents, they have little ears on them. And those ears click into the register holes right there. And so we'll have to remember to put that back the right way. Put the vents in the right spots. So what I'm seeing is, I'm seeing four screws uh, on this side right there and right over here. Let's get those out. And the Uconnect just pulls away. You flip it over and looks like, you know what, I'm pleased to see that. Looks like the connections match. I'm happy about that. Out with the old. And... In with the new so one thing I'm finding right away is that I got a color mismatch I've got a blue cable coming out of the dash it goes to the blue port on the old you connect I do not have a blue port on the new on the 8.4 from what I found out that blue cable is your GPS it's your navigation uh, whether that's important or not it's not so much for me simply because I'm trying to uh, ultimately do a mirror I want to mirror my phone and have it show up on on the screen so all the screw holes line up. I'm excited so far. I mean, it's going well. I mean, it's factory. I, uh, I kind of had high expectations that it was going to match and everything was going to work well. You just don't know sometimes. Now, I spent $625 for this through the junkyard. And so it's a risk. And it's a lot of money that I don't want to take a chance on. I did some research and some folks said this can't be done. Some folks said it can be done. A lot of unknown answers. Fairly simple. So let's give it a start and see what it looks like. right away the color and the clarity is so much better than a little five inch guy i got you connect looks like it's loading happy to see that so the anti-theft code is going to be the biggest issue with getting one of these from the junkyard i did foresee this problem i reached out to a few different sources they said it's quite simple you just got to call the dealership tell them the serial number of the car you got the you connect out of give them the serial number on the back of the new you connect that you got and the service department will look up that security code and they'll read it to you for me it's 4393. Let's give it a try. So far, so good. I'm getting excited. So it took about a minute to go through this reload process. It's all staticky. It didn't have any radio stations. It didn't have any signal. It cleared the memory that it had from the Chrysler 300, I presume, and the channel presets and all that stuff. And it restarted itself, and it looks like it's okay now. There seems to be a bit of a lag with the controls since it's reset itself, but it slowly seems to be slowly seems to be getting better. Looks like we can make some changes. We can flip through the different climate control options. The apps looks like they're still 
looks like they're they're not quite there I'm not quite sure what's going on with that we're gonna find out shortly oh we got gospel radio uh, radio controls work I'm thrilled with that that is the security code right there we'll have to sync up my phone I'm excited for that and uh, oh yep there's the climate control we can get that working oh yeah yeah nice real nice how's that oh yeah good good oh wow all right and the backup camera let's take a look at that much nicer much much nicer so let's get this bezel back on and uh <laughs> i think we did it i think it worked out great 625 dollars from the junkyard some places are charging less some places are a little more i'm seeing between 500 and 700 for uconnects at a junkyard there's some aftermarket services that charge almost double that so i think that answers the question yes you can upgrade to an 8.4 yes it can come from another vehicle it doesn't have to be dodge for dodge for instance this came from a chrysler 300 yes it is expensive there are lower cost options out there but it's darn cool and i'm glad i did this i think it's well worth it as well i like the functionality i like the clarity i like the options i get in it i like the contrast in the color uh, i got better background and better wallpaper i'm betting uh, there's all kinds of options too where I can upgrade this and with different types of apps or colors or renditions or backgrounds or photos and I'm looking forward to doing that. So I hope you liked the video. I'm thrilled with my new Uconnect and uh, I'll see you on the next video.